morning, friends, and welcome to our morning devotional on this Wednesday, December 1st. Can you believe it's December, the last month of 2021? And I'm just sitting out here enjoying this beautiful weather. You know, it's nice, cool breeze, not a cloud in the sky. Um, I really hope that this kind of weather continues. I, I look forward to this. This is nice. Um, and that's actually what we're talking about today in our Almost Christmas series. We're talking about hope this week. And as I reflect on hope, I think that's one of those words that we oftentimes either overuse or maybe use it to mean a whole bunch of different things in a bunch of different situations. You know, I hope that this beautiful weather continues or I hope that our family is not late for church on Sunday. Sometimes a struggle for us, maybe for you too. I hope that the UCF Knights makes it to the playoffs. You can have hope in your favorite sports team, whether it's a founded hope or not. Um, I hope that the packages we ordered from Amazon arrive on time for Christmas. Or maybe it's a, a, a deeper, more serious kind of hope. You know, I hope that uh, that medical test, you know, I had ordered recently from the doctor comes back negative. Or I hope that um, a relationship that's been strained in our family is one that can be resolved. Um, we use hope to mean a whole bunch of different things, but getting getting to the core is, it's meaning that we're wanting something to happen or not happen, right? We're just, we're, we're hoping, we're, exp we're, you know, thinking that this might not. When we talk about almost Christmas, the reality is that kind of hope doesn't always work out the way we want, right? Sometimes the weather gets pretty bad or we run late to church or sometimes our favorite team loses the playoffs or those packages that we order may not arrive in time for that birthday or for Christmas or more seriously sometimes those medical tests might not come back with the good news we were hoping for and so when I talk about our scripture this morning this is about a different kind of hope and this is found in first Peter chapter 1 verses 3 to 5 and it says this blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ by his great mercy he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. A living hope. That's a different kind of hope than what we deal with, I think, in our day-to-day -day life. But what does Peter mean by this living hope? When we look at the word hope in the Greek translation, it means that eager or confident expectation. And expectation is an important word. It's a strong belief that something will come to pass. That it's not a simple hope in some sort of thing or package or, a, uh, or even a hope in a, another person, you know, here on earth. Our living hope comes from a living Savior. The birth of Jesus Christ that we celebrate this Advent season provides you and me that living hope for us, not only in the life to come, but in this life here on earth. That through Jesus' birth, through his life, through his death, and through his resurrection, we receive this new hope, greater than any kind of hope in things on this earth. And that gives us a foundation and a faith that we can face whatever life throws at us. Whether it's late packages for Christmas or that medical test that might change our future moving forward. You see, in this life, we have a place in eternity through a living Savior who gives us this anchor of our soul in this life here on earth in dealing with the storms of life that swirl around us. And that's my prayer for you this week, that you might have the opportunity to accept that gift of hope this Christmas season. There's going to be a lot of things we hope for that may or may not come to pass, but there's one hope that is eternal for you and me. That is the hope of the birth of this tiny baby who comes to save you and me and the world. So until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of God's hand.